Good morning, East Texas. I'm Lisa Evans, and this is the TylerPaper.com Morning News Update. An early morning fire burned a Smith County home to the ground. It happened just after one this morning in the 5400 block of Farmer Market Road 14 that's inside Loop 323. Firefighters told our news partner, CBS 19, that when they got to the scene, the mobile home was fully engulfed. The family was home at the time, but everyone was able to make it out safely. A 150-foot wide asteroid will come remarkably close to Earth next week, even closer than high-flying communication and weather satellites. It'll be the nearest known flyby for an object of this size. But don't worry, scientists promise that the mega rock will be at least 17,100 miles away when it zips past next Friday. Here's more. The close approach of this, this object 2012 DA-14 on February 15th is nothing to worry about. Its orbit is very well known. We know exactly where it's going to go, and it cannot hit the Earth. Next Friday, the asteroid will pass just over 17,000 miles from Earth. That's above the orbit of the International Space Station and most satellites. But it's around 5,000 miles inside the orbit of many weather satellites, as well as those used for global positioning and satellite TV. It's also just a fraction of the distance between the Earth and the Moon, in astronomical terms, a near miss. There are an estimated half a million asteroids and comets that could pose a risk to the Earth. 2012 DA14 comes closer than any found to date, but scientists want to find more of them because they know one day we may not be so lucky. Andy Milburn, Sky News. A New Orleans power company says the cause of the Super Bowl blackout was a faulty device that had been installed to prevent a failure of electric cables leading to the Superdome. Officials say the device, called a relay, had been installed to protect the stadium from a cable failure between the company's incoming power lines and lines that run into the stadium. Company officials said the device performed without any problem during January's Sugar Bowl and other earlier events. Did you hear about the mom who swiped her son's letter of intent and ran to keep him from going to school and playing football at Arkansas? Well, Alex Collins signed the letter eventually, but his mom is still determined to have her say. That's right. While it is true that today Alex Collins did sign his letter of intent to play for the Hogs, it took a long time to get to this point, but this story has now taken yet another turn. Collins' mother, Andrea McDonald, refused to sign the paperwork yesterday on National Signing Day and then reportedly left the South Plantation High School grounds. Now today, Collins signed the paperwork with his father, Johnny. Now the high school athletic director says the NCAA will accept the letter of intent since Johnny is listed as the biological father on Alex's birth certificate. But today, 4029 has learned that McDonald has hired the Cochran Law Firm of South Florida to represent her, and they released a statement today. The statement says, in part, our client's initial intentions remain unchanged. She is a loving and caring mother who only wants her son to choose a university without any outside and inappropriate influences. Now, the statement also says that McDonald is not seeking any financial gain, but that her only concern is for her son's happiness and well-being. In the meantime, the U of A has received Collins' letter of intent, and they have already announced him as a member of the team. Would you like to be an eye reporter for the TylerPaper.com? Take a look at the video immediately below. Thanks for watching, and look for our midday news update around the noon hour. Have a great weekend, East Texas.